Alright, welcome back to another video. So basically, I'm going to be breaking down my latest song. I'm posting this video at the same time I'm pretty much posting the song. So the song will be linked in the description and all that. So go check it out. Go stream it. We're going to be breaking it down. Kind of tutorial type video almost. But, you know, let's get into it. Basically, I wanted to drop a song because it's my birthday on the day that I'm posting this. And might as well because I did last year. I dropped a song. So got to keep it up. Figured I might as well do a breakdown of it since I don't really have too many YouTube video ideas at the moment. And... I've literally filmed like at least five YouTube videos that I just deleted because I was kind of on beat block and everything I was making was not up to my standards. So hopefully this video turns out better. And yeah, anyways, basically a while back I was watching YouTube. It was in a clip. I heard the song that sampled this um, song from Kirby from a very old Super Nintendo game. So I figured I might as well give it a try. The original song is actually a banger. I love this. just goes hard you know so of course you gotta sample it and gotta make it into a song that goes even harder basically the first thing I got was I got the sample I pitched it up five semitones and then I duplicated it and pitched it down an octave and up an octave so then together it all sounds like this And then of course that has some good eyes on it and it has two EQs, just take out the low end. Next I had the 808, I uh, used pretty, pretty good 808, pretty fat, pretty heavy on the bass, pretty low overdrive. Another one that had an EQ, that I had some good eyes or I had another EQ, and then that was pretty much it for the 808, then I had the pattern. a lot of, like short high notes like this and I also tried to add some kind of like interesting bounce parts to it some like note stutters and stuff like that and I did these slides that were a bit shorter just stuff like that making it interesting and then of course I duplicated the slides up an octave too pretty normal stuff for my songs and then of course I also had a crash and a kick on this and then the kick was pretty much side chained to everything because just, that's just how it is, okay? Besides the 808 pattern, I had the drums. Start off with a snare, pretty basic snare. I also had this like hi-hat pattern type thing. It was originally um, twice as long, but I just made it fast because I didn't like it when it was twice as long. I have these hi-hats. For the hi-hats, I try to make them more interesting than usual. It's kind of a weird rhythm, but I kind of like it. Then of course I had the open hi hat. I like the panning because it kind of goes left, right, right, left. I don't know. It just has a cool feel to it. So that was the drums. Also had this cool part that I like where the beat just kind of completely stops. And my favorite part about this is I found the in a drum kit. I found the fireball sound effect from Mario, so I just threw it in there. I don't know. I just kind of like that part favorite part of the whole song it was just cool because it fits the you know retro games theme also added the star wars effect right here or the tie fighters i don't know just random stuff like that you know and then besides the drums and all that i also had um what i actually did for the second half of the drop was i switched the key i just made the pitch sample down one semitone what i did here was i brought back the 808 from my song ascend I decided to bring back this 808 because I haven't used it in so long. So it sounds like this. It's a pretty cool pattern. And then I ended by bringing it back up from. I just used this part for the ending because it's just really cool. Now I had some cool automation for the intro. Basically, I started off with the FL Studio opening thing, just because why not, you know? It's basically, there's this plugin called Ambio Orbit, which you can do like 8D sound. You can move this around so it sounds like it's coming from left, right, front, back, different directions. So I had this basically um, on the intro. I just set this to just circling around you. To 
give the song kind of cool feeling. Also had some little bit of disruptor and reverb that just automated down. That was pretty much all for the intro. Then other than that, there was what riser tag verse kick. That's pretty much all for the song. I also had this random snare roll. Beautiful, isn't it? I think that's pretty much all. It's not too complicated. It's only one minute in total. It's about all my songs that aren't collabs. But anyways, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Maybe you learned something. And here's the full song.